Hey there, in this video I'm going to be talking about how to optimize all your meshes uh, in this ArcViz project for Android and iOS. Keep that in mind that if you change a mesh, it will break the lighting uh, and you have to bake the lighting once again. If you haven't watched my previous videos about uh, creating the whole ArcViz project, I, uh, I'd recommend you go ahead and watch all of those if you want to um, progress with me. Okay, let's start. So first of all, when you are inside down, you'll go here and uh, select wireframe. Um, in this scene, you have all the meshes in your scene and all the triangle count and everything that you can easily see. And um, if there's some problem in it, you can easily understand and find out and um, go ahead and change the problem. So. I've already optimized this scene, but I'm going to um, change some things here and there to show you the difference. So for example, this chair here, if you go ahead and double click on the static mesh and go into the um, static mesh details uh, in the LOD zero. Oh, by the way, we're not going to be using any LOD at all in this ArcViz project. And I'd recommend you not use any LOD at all as well because it will add some load to CPU and this is something we don't need in our ArcViz project at the moment. Uh, under LOD zero, we have reduction settings and we have percent triangles. You have two ways to optimize your meshes inside Unreal. One is uh, with percent triangles and one is using Nanite settings. So if you are using Nanite for if the project's uh, available for both PC DirectX 12 and Android and iOS, um, you can use Nanite and you can use fallback triangle percent. This is exactly the same as this one. So percent triangles or fallback triangle percent completely the same. You can go ahead and enable Nanite and change this, or you can come in here in the reduction settings and change the per percent triangles. So if we go into back to 100, we have 42,000 triangles for just a chair. This is what you'll see in the editor. It's pretty obvious that we have a problem there. It shouldn't be like, uh, it shouldn't like look like this, right? So we can just go ahead, double click. We can probably start with something like two. You know what? Actually, looks really good. So, what's the difference between two and a hundred? Nothing. Yeah, that's that's great. So, forty-two thousand down to eight hundred fifty-eight. That's a huge win to me. Um. And for example, this one here, I haven't changed this one. So it's pretty obvious that it's not opt optimized. So go ahead, select the mesh. We have 5,000 triangles, just a piece of newspaper, maybe 10%. For ArcViz projects, um, I usually start with 10% because most of the meshes are not optimized at all because, I mean, it's just ArcViz, right? And most of, the, um, most of the meshes, most of the assets you are using are going to be are supposed to be um, used within CD Studio Max or with um, V-Ray, something like V-Ray or uh, what I'm trying to tell you is that all the assets are super high poly so it's pretty easy to optimize them with something like 10% 10% is fine in this way Okay, what if instead of static meshes, we have skeletal meshes, something like this. So we have an anim that's being played and we have, an, uh, we have a skeletal mesh asset, in this case, fan blades. We have 459,000 triangles. That's a lot. And if we were to use ES2, that wouldn't even work, you know? So what we can do instead is, go ahead, we have the uh, 
exactly under LOD0, under reduction settings, we have percent of triangles. So we can go ahead and change that. But instead of percent, we have to do something like 0.1 means um, 10%. Yes. Okay, 10% seems fine to me. 45,000 triangles is fine for a skeletal mesh. Uh, if it's super important in your scene, you can go up to 100,000. I mean, 75 is like the usual in ES2. Uh, but if you're working on ES3.1, which you are apparently because this Unreal Engine 5 and doesn't support ES2, but 100 triangles is fine but don't go over that um, and this is the way you optimize all the meshes in your scene just go ahead and see in the wireframe mode and see which asset is going to be uh, if you are looking at them from up close which assets going to be having a lot of triangles that's going to be a problem. So if they have too many triangles in them, just go ahead and fix the issue by just using the reduction settings or um, the nanite fallback per, uh, triangle percentage. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if it helped you, please hit that like button and have a great day. Bye.